Hi guys, I'm Song Jung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. Go ahead and download my game Om Nam Nam. So fun. The link is down below, either iOS or Android. You can play beat me if you can. Ah, <laughs> anyways. Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite Korean side dish we call Kaji Muchim or Kaji Namul. It's an eggplant side dish, so let's get started. First, you need to prep your eggplant. You will need one pound of this Asian or Korean eggplant. You can easily find this at Asian grocery store or Korean grocery stores. If you want to, you can use that regular, you know, the eggplant, that fat one. You can definitely use that, but just a Korean one or the Asian one, they are just more easier and faster to cook and more firm texture. And now we are going to steam our eggplant. So I already prepared my steamer. You can use any steamer that you have. You don't have to use a bamboo steamer, okay? So place your steamer over boiling water and then put eggplants skin side down. Cover and we are going to steam them three to five minutes. So if you like to enjoy a little more texture of the eggplant, go ahead and steam about three minutes. But if you like a little more silkier and softer eggplant, go ahead and steam five minutes. Eggplant is done steaming. Go ahead and open the lid and let it cool about five minutes because right now it's too hot to handle. And meanwhile, the eggplant is cooling down. We are going to chop two cloves of garlic and two green onions. Bring a mixing bowl, add the chopped garlic and green onion, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Highly recommend to use Korean soy sauce when you're cooking Korean recipes. One tablespoon of agave nectar. You could use sugar, honey, or maple syrup. One tablespoon of sesame oil. One to two teaspoons of gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. You can completely omit the gochugaru if you wanna make this mild. And two teaspoons of sesame seeds. All right, now we are going to add the eggplant into the sauce. But before going to the sauce, just go ahead and rip the eggplant in half for that rustic Korean ajuma style. <laughs> the texture and the look, we always rip the steamed eggplant like that. Mix well with your hand. All Korean side dishes, when you can touch with your hand, you always and must do so, like all Korean mamas and uh, ajumas do, because we call sonmat, it's a hand taste. I don't know what it is. This is natural MSG. We really believe in that taste of the hand. <laughs> you said that you never had an eggplant? That's a lie. You're Korean. Actually, actually, you should do this one. Come on! <laughs> what did you think? I didn't know this was eggplant. It was eggplant. <laughs> what did you Hold think on, it was? What are you guys doing? Hanyo, welcome back. Welcome back! <laughs> Thank you. It was, it was great. Smokey went to the so I guess. Smokey has something to say. Mm -hmm. So, welcome back, Hanyo! He can't hear us. No. <laughs> My dog, Smokey, he is 16 and a half year old and he lost his <laughs> So we cannot really stop him by just telling him to stop. We are actually gave Hanyeol the separate bowl with the gajinamul and all that because just in case. I know he went to 14 day quarantine, but just in case. You never know. He's not wearing mask. <laughs> and he seems to like the eggplant that he's never had before. <laughs> Guys, if you like my eggplant side dish, Korean eggplant side dish, Kaji uh, Namul or Kaji Muchin, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sung Jung Longgast. I'm Jacob Longgast. I'm your Kim. And this is Asian at Home. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. And you guys accepted the challenge from last week. And a lot of you are beating me now. I think I'm at the time of we're recording, I'm number 15. And at one point, I was. I'm still number I was like seven. Number three. So 
Good job, guys. Now wait for me to catch up. Please.